ourselves. We're here to read another story. Um, this one is a favorite. I'm sure you remember it. You've probably heard it before. You might have it at home. It's called Caps for Sale, and it's one of our favorites. It's a tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. Caps for Sale. Once there was a peddler who sold caps. He was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap. Then, a bunch of gray caps. Then, a bunch of brown caps. And then, a bunch of blue caps. And on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as to not upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, as to not upset his caps. There he goes. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put his hands to his to feel if they were straight. First, his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. Uh-oh, what do we see? But before standing up, he felt his head to make sure his caps were right in, in the right place. He felt his own checked cap. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Hmm, I wonder where they went. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? <gasps> on every branch sat a monkey, and on every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cap. Wow, a lot of monkeys. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, Now, he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and said, you monkeys, you, 
You better give me back my caps, but the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Uh oh. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap. All the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up the cap, his caps and put them back on his head. First, his own checked cap, then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. The end. Thanks for reading with me today. See you soon.